Welcome to Cooking It Up at Pinnacle Circle with Maya, Aaron, and Kiera. Hello. I'm baking a peach cobbler right now. Come on, follow me. <laughs> this is the peach cobbler. I just put it in the oven, guys. It looks delish already, and it's not even done. So, Yum. yeah, now I have to wait about 45 minutes for it to come out, and then it'll be all done. And that's our Thanksgiving dinner. What did you put in the peach cobbler? I have to have canned peaches. See, these are the cans that I use. Two cans of peaches. I have to also have some seasoning, ground allspice. Ground. See, the ground allspice. Also, had to have some little lemon juice <laughs> and some vanilla, pure vanilla, as well as some plain white sugar and some brown sugar, as well as the pie crust as well. And that's my peach cobbler. Homemade. Just call me Cindy Homemaker. <laughs> Okay, guys. So what we're doing now is making homemade mashed potatoes. It's real simple. I don't know why people feel they need to buy instant mashed potatoes. But all you got to do is get a potato peeler and some potatoes and simply like this to get all the skin off. When you're done skinning the potatoes, you always want to make sure you wash them off. That's because they're a vegetable and they grow in the ground, so you want to wash them off. See, I'm washing them off before I cut them up into some big chunks. Make sure you just wash them off. They're potatoes. They grow in the ground, so you want to make sure they're clean. Clean up feet. And then you just cut them into some chunks. Be very careful when cutting. <laughs> you don't want to cut yourself. You don't want to have a cut off finger, especially in the food like so. The smaller the chunks are, the less time it'll need to cook in the water. And they'll, the smaller they are, the easier it is to mash up. Now the water looks a little bit high and you don't want it to be too high so I may have to pour a little bit of it out because you don't want it overflowing or anything because I still have another potato to put in. So I've had the potatoes in the pot for about, hmm, maybe about 30 minutes now. So you want to keep stirring it to check if they're soft enough. And you know they're soft enough to mash if you see that you're stirring it and the potato chunks are breaking apart. So they're breaking apart now, so that means they're actually soft enough for me to drain the water out of the potatoes and start mashing it. So what I just did is poured all the potatoes in the little colander. You want to make sure you drain the water out out of the potatoes. Put it back into the pot. So we can see what I'm going to do now, since I don't have a potato masher, I'm going to use a mixer instead. It works just as good. To me it works better, but whatever you prefer. And I'm going to put a little bit of milk. You can use any type of milk you want. We prefer lactate. We prefer lactate. And <laughs> just a little, little bit of butter to put in so it'll be creamy. So me, I just eyeball it when it comes to pouring in the milk. But um, it's up to you. We have a pro in our hands, I see. I just, I just eyeball it because it's not that hard. So yeah, a little bit of butter. I think we do, yes. Take a little bit of butter and just put that in there. Okay. Now, since everybody doesn't eyeball like myself, you can take just a little cup. This is one third. I'm going to put maybe just half of one third of milk in here. Watch and learn. That's just one third, half of one third. Pour it in, did it like so. 
And I'm going to take the blender, put it on the lowest setting, and mash it up. Wow. going to this lovely drawer that holds all these types of utensils and get my one touch <laughs> hand opener. Now everybody, not everybody can use this now. Now, you have to be very gentle. First you take the can in your left hand, <laughs> then take the corn opener in your right hand. Gently put it down the counter. Now put the can over, over the can. Because this, this can opener is magnetic, so it will take. And all you have to do is press. Now, watch closely. <laughs> One button. And it'll go around the same. <laughs> wow. Modern technology. Done. And then see, touch it again. <laughs> you touch the button again, and it'll just come off magically. Those are the collard greens. Harry, rice. Mm. Yeah. I have the curry rice brewing at storm. Mm. Can't you smell the deliciousness? Mm. Good old curry. Mmm, bubbling. Don't be scared now. The green is supposed to be the dress, the seasoning, so Carrie is green. Don't be scared. Thanks for watching Cooking It Up at Pinnacle Circle with Maya, Aaron, and Kiera. For our good Thanksgiving dinner.